my channel and in today's video we are going to discuss about the Duolingo English test. As you know there are English language proficiency tests like IELTS and PT. Now uh, you can also take Duolingo English test to study abroad. Now in this video we're going to discuss about actually what the Duolingo test is what are the institutions or universities which accept the scores and uh, what is the test duration and, and we're going to look more about this Duolingo English test. Anyways, so to start off, you can check here that you can take this test online at any time, anywhere at your comfort zone, right? You can take at your comfort zone. You can finish this exam in just one hour you can just finish this exam within 60 minutes of time and you can get the test results with in two days of time right so you can see here you can just get the results in 48 hours and the best part here is it's accepted by over a thousand institutions earlier there were only 500 institutions uh, which accept this Duolingo test but because of the COVID-19 it is accepted by about around thousand universities now. As you know just IELTS is one of the popular tests and most of the test takers like to only choose IELTS but because of the COVID-19 you can even just take this test and can get your results within two days of time and even the time that you're spending to take this test is just one hour guys right so anyways let's know more about this test so as you can see right you can attend anywhere right you can take this test from anywhere in the world and the first thing is convenient you can take the test online anywhere so it's convenient right so you need not travel to the test centers or get any prior appointment right and the next thing is you can get the results within 48 hours two days it's very short and the best part here is affordable it's very affordable and cheap you just need to spend only $49 to take this test whereas if you take other tests like IELTS and PT you need to spend more than 13,000 which is around $200 right but here you need to spend about only 3,000 300 some change right so you just need to spend only $49 to take this test I hope it's pretty cheap now if you just look at this we're going to discuss about the institutions that accept this score but you can just directly send your results to every school and institution in on your list so you whatever you've prepared so you can just send immediately your scores with no additional cost so accurate results as you know it's just a quick step setup and this setup takes only five minutes and the test adaptive test is only 45 minutes and the video interview is just 10 minutes so on a whole you just need to sit for about 60 minutes that is one hour to complete this test that's it and the basic requirement because this is very essential part that you must know that is the test requirements or what the test needs right so you must have your valid passport or a driving license or might be any government ID can help that means you just need to have any ID which shows your address but if you take IELTS it's not like that you just need to have a valid passport then only you can attend the test and the next thing that you need to have a quite well lit room because since you are recording your face it should be clearly visible right so make sure you sit in a quite well lit room okay because you're recording the screen as well right i mean you're recording your face as well now coming to the duration you just need to sit for one hour that is 60 minutes that means you just need to have one hour spare time a reliable internet connection of course since it's a computer-based test and it's an internet-based test almost, you just need to have a stable internet connection, right? And the basic thing that is a computer or might be a laptop. And guys, you cannot take this test on a phone. Make sure you cannot take this test because you can even open the site on your phone, but you cannot take this test. You need to have a computer or might be a laptop. So these both can help. 
Now coming to your computer must have a supported browser. Obviously, it should have a supported browser or front facing camera. Even a HD one can go well, but even a basic camera or webcam, it will, will go well, right? And the next thing is you need to have a microphone. So make sure you prepare to have a headset because the headset will also have a microphone and you can easily record your responses. Because if you take in the speaking test, you need to record your responses. So how you can do that? You must have a microphone, right? So just have a simple, basic headset that can help you and you need to have a speakers because in the listening module you need to listen to the audios for that you need to have a speaker that's it so these are the test requirements that you need to have and that's it right so about this test you just need to sign in if you can and check. for this test to take this test you just need to sign up if you already have signed in you can just log in again to book your test right so now let us look at how the test is scored. So here we have the score interpretation. The Duolingo English test is designed to assess real world language ability by measuring reading, writing, speaking and listening skills. As you know, these four skills are very important in any English language proficiency test. So besides the Duolingo test, you also have, you know, IELTS and PT, which also assess all the four skills in the English language. So each test takers, right, proficiency is reported as a holistic score on a scale from 10 to 160. So the scores for Duolingo test will be from or between 10 to 160 points, right? So you can see the points here. So he has also given the description. So anyways, let us first look at the description. So if you score between 10 to 55, that means you can understand very basic English words and phrases and also can understand straightforward information and express themselves in familiar contexts. Now what about 60 and 85? Can understand the main points of concrete speech or writing on routine matters such as work and school, right? He's much more confident and can describe experiences, ambitions, opinions and plans although with some awkwardness or hesitation. Still, the hesitation persists over here. Now, what about the 90 and 115 score? And you can see for the 90 and 115 can fulfill most communication goals even on familiar, I mean on unfamiliar topics. That means if you face any unfamiliar topics, still you can express your thoughts, your ideas, right? can understand the main ideas of both concrete and abstract writing, can interact with proficient speakers fairly easily, right? Now, what about 120 to 160? Can understand a variety of demanding where written and spoken language, including some specialized language use situations. So I think this is more expertise level, right? So anyways, so as you've seen how the scoring will be done, so let us look at the institutions with I mean who accept this test right so let's have a look at the name of the institutions now so as you can see here uh, Primingham Southern College right Samford University Spring Hill College undergraduate right so it's almost you can see everything is the USA and Argentina and what are the countries that it also I mean it's also accepted by Australia right Austria and Belgium Brazil so you can see there are a number of colleges, right? So California and yes, so I think it's mostly popular in the USA. So I hope you can easily plan for this test and take and you can score high. I'm very sure about it because this is not at all like the IELTS test, which is so tricky, but this Duolingo English test is quite simple and at the same time so affordable to take. So we are going to discuss more about this Duolingo English test. So in my next video, I am going to uh, brief you up about the test pattern because every English language test do have a test pattern or the test format that you call it as. So I am going to describe about the test format in my next video. So see you guys and stay home, stay safe.